MCX IPF presents Simplifying Commodities, Futures, Options and Indices. The gold volatility this year has been on a high. We started the year with $1,800 per ounce, hit a high of $2,052 in the month of March and the first quarter closed on a positive note. The second quarter though closed with a 7% decline. July saw a sharp cut as US Fed hiked rates for a second time by 75 basis points, though the month managed to close off those kind of levels. The prices after a decline in second quarter have seen a positive move now in third quarter. The gold prices in rupee terms continue to be positive, up by 7% in 2022. The months of June and July are usually low demand period, but as we get into August, the mood for India short changes as India's festival and wedding season begins. The PM inaugurating the India International Bullion Exchange has been a very strong sentiment support. Support also comes in as a safe haven as IMF cut global growth for 2022 to 3.2%. And then there is geopolitical tensions to account for. The latest data shows that the central bank buying in case of gold also has been strong, with RBI's total gold reserves now standing at 768.8 tons. The other usual buyers also have been buying gold. Within this is Iraq, Uzbekistan, Turkey, Kazakhstan and India as well. The Indian gold industry is worth $60 billion and the country is the second largest consumer of gold in the world, with the average demand surpassing 700 tons annually in last decade or more. MCX IPF presents Simplifying Commodities, Futures, Options and Indices.